you know, people took us for granted. They didn't believe that environmental justice was a real thing. I say my prayers at night, but I know who controls it. I fall in To see the trials and the tribulation that my mother went through 40 years ago and the abuse that she had to endure with it, but it didn't stop her. I just wish she was here to see that the work that she has done over the years is getting the, the recognition that it should. Said it's gonna be a tiny garden. Hazel Johnson was a visionary. Hazel Johnson was a community builder. Hazel Johnson was a mother. Hazel Johnson was a leading light in the movement to reshape our world, uh, to be more sustainable, more just, more reparative. Um, and she really built a, a blueprint for how we can remake this world in that image. And I'm just so grateful to have learned more and more about her story, to have been trusted to tell her story in collaboration with so many brilliant people. What a joy and what a project it's been. And I, you know, we're just so grateful to be planting, harvesting, and sowing the seeds that Hazel planted. Living in your own shoebox is better than living in anybody else's mansion. But you have to take care of your own shoebox so you can continue to live it. She said, but I know I may not do it in my lifetime. But at least she set the ground for it. Listen close, I listen wide. Right. Bring anything from my past life. One of the things that I'm learning from my mother is that you embrace love. 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 Embrace <laughs> but, you know, I never lived anywhere else, so I just want people to come to my community and, and show the love that we need to have in this country, I mean the city, because that's what's like. You know, when I come down here downtown, people don't say hi, hello, how you doing? In my community, somebody asks me, why you call me Sam? Ask somebody. I say, next thing they want you to your plate. <laughs> the seed has all the information. What we are aiming for everybody to do is whether with your dollars, with your institutional access, with your volunteerism, or we can imagine new ways. We need to bring all of our capacity together to make the, the Hazel Johnson Environmental Justice Center a reality, not just so people can continue to learn the story, but to become environmental scientists, to become policy makers, to be able to cook food with each other build campaigns and organizing strategy. If we want to build more power, we have to build more capacity, and this is a way that we can do it immediately. Said it's gonna be a tiny garden, but I feel